My name is Sam and today I want to show you how to access data using the Census Data Application Programming Interface or API from the 2020 Decennial Census Demographic and Housing Characteristics file or DHC. The DHC provides demographic and housing characteristics data for a range of geographies found in the United States and Puerto Rico including age, sex, race, Hispanic or Latino origin, household type, family type, relationship to householder, group quarters population, housing occupancy, and housing tenure. My goal is to use the Census Data API to find the number of housing units that are occupied and vacant in Mankato, Minnesota, and for all the tracks in Blue Earth County, Minnesota. There are different reasons for why you would choose to use the Census Data API to get your data. Some of our data users find that the Census Data API is the best way to get data when they need a large amount of it. Others find it's the best way to get data that they plan to use in applications they create. Even if I ultimately decide to use the API to get the data, I have found that it's still useful to go into data.census.gov to decide on the tables that I want to use. Earlier, I went into data.census.gov and found that table H3, occupancy status, from the DHC provides the data points that I want. Now that I have this information in hand, let me show you how to use the API to get this data. Using your web browser, go to census.gov. Under the Data and Maps heading, click on Developers. Under the Developers heading, click on the link to the Discovery tool. Then, click on the format that you'd like to view the Discovery tool in. For this, click on the HTML version. The Discovery tool houses all the different datasets found in the API. To locate the 2020 Demographic and Housing Characteristics file, click on Control and F and type demographic and housing characteristics into the search bar that appears. The dataset you want is the one labeled as Decennial Census Demographic and Housing Characteristics. To isolate the information for this dataset so you don't have to worry about the other 1,500 plus datasets found on this page, click on the API base URL found in the last column and add .html to the end of it. Hit enter and you'll see that you now just have the API information for the DHC. You first want to confirm that you'll be able to pull data from the table in its entirety. When you pull data for an entire table, it's referred to as making a group call. To confirm that the table needed is available for group calls, right-click on the groups link and choose open link in new tab. If I scroll down the list, I can see that the table I want, H3, occupancy status, is available for group calls. Since this was confirmed, I can now close this tab. Returning to the information page where I initially selected the groups link, I now want to look at the list of example queries that are available. To get to that, right click on the examples link and choose open link in new tab. Here you can find example links for all the geographies that are available with the 2020 demographic and housing characteristics file. For this example, I want to first get the data for Mankato. Since this would be place level data, I'll want to focus on the queries found for geography level or summary level 160. The ampersand 4 portion of the query dictates the geography. The first two queries are going to give you data for all places, such as cities, towns, census designated places, etc. in the US. You can tell that they are going to give data for all places because they use the wildcard represented by an asterisk. The difference, as you can see, is that the second one spells it out for all places in all states. This second one is handy because you could change the asterisk for the state to a two-digit Federal Information Processing System, or FIPS code, that is associated with each state. The last one allows you to look at data for a single place within a given state. Since I only want data for Mankato, this would ideally be the one for me to use but I don't know what the five-digit place code is for Mankato, nor the two-digit FIPS code for Minnesota. To help us in finding that information out, let's use the second query, the one that separates it by all places in all states. Right-click on the second query and choose Open Link in New Tab. When it opens, you'll see that it is listing out all the places in the U.S., which is the first portion of each line, labeled as Name along with their respective state FIPS codes, which is the second portion of each line, labeled as state, and place code, which is the last portion of each line, labeled as place. Now we just need to find Mankato. Click on Control and F and type Mankato. The match for Mankato City, Minnesota is the one we want. 
When I look at this line, I can see that the state FIPS code for Minnesota is 27 and the place code for Mankato is 39878. There's no need for us to open the third query just to get data on Mankato. We can just modify the query that we're already using. Navigate to the top of the query and replace the asterisk after state colon with 27. Then replace the asterisk after place colon with 39878 and hit enter. This isolates the geography so that you only see Mankato. Now you can add in table H3. Right after the get equals portion of the URL, remove name and replace it with group open parentheses H3 close parentheses. Then hit enter. You'll receive data back for the requested table for Mankato. Let's review the output. The first portion is the GeoID. This is the unique geographic identifier for the given geography. The next portion is the name of the geography. Next are the individual estimates that make up table H3. If you want to find out what each variable is, visit the variables page. Next is the state FIPS code, which in this case is 27 for Minnesota. And last is the place code for Mankato. Now that we have the table for Mankato, we need to get it for the tracks in Blue Earth County. To do this, all you have to do is modify the geography portion of the query. Go back to the page with the example queries. This time we're interested in queries for track level data or geography slash summary level 140. There are three different tracked queries to choose from. The first query is going to give you data for all the tracks within a given state. The second one is also going to give you data for all the tracks within a given state. It will also give you the county that the track is in. And then the last query allows you to get data for a single tract within a specific county and state. It looks like the second query is the best one for me to use since I can do something similar to what I did before for Mankato and replace the wildcard for the county portion with the county code to just get data for Blue Earth County. The problem is that, like before with Mankato, I don't know what the code is for Blue Earth County. To figure this out, I can still use the second query. Right click on it and choose Open Link in New Tab. Then replace the 06 after state colon with 27 and hit Enter. While the focus of this query is to give you a list of all the tracks in the state, it also happens to give the three digit county code for each county. Click on Control and F and enter Blue Earth into the search box. The three digit county code is the second portion of the output from the right. Looking at this, I can see that the county code for Blue Earth is 013. What I'm going to do now is modify the geography portion of this query to get data for the tracks in Blue Earth County, and then copy that geography portion and paste it into the query that we did for Mankato. Replace the asterisk after county colon with 013 and hit enter. I can see that it's giving me a list of all the tracks in the county. Copy the entire geography portion starting with ampersand 4 equals, right click on it, and select copy. Then go back to the query that we did earlier for Mankato and paste the new geography portion over the old portion, which was ampersand 4 equals place colon 39878, ampersand n equals state colon 27. Once that's done, hit enter. You should now have a line of data for each tract in Blue Earth County that gives the data for the number of total housing units, as well as the number that are occupied and vacant. I hope this tutorial has helped in learning how to use the Census Data API to make a group call to get an entire table's worth of data from the 2020 Demographic and Housing Characteristics file. For more guidance on using the Census Data API, please visit our resources page at the link below. Thank you.